Well, I've just come up here to wind the clock and it's just struck six. But I wanted to, and I'm a bit out of breath because I've just finished the winding. And I wanted to tell you about the barometric compensation. Well, last week we looked at temperature compensation and that was that the length of the pendulum adjusts itself by a combination of materials, steel and zinc. But now barometric compensation, this is a bit strange because why would the period of the pendulum depend on air pressure? Well, you might think that that's perhaps because of drag density of the air causes a drag on the pendulum. But that's not it. That's not the main thing. Uh, you might think, well, maybe viscosity, temperature and pressure affect viscosity. No, not that either. Not that either. It's buoyancy. And this is just quite amazing that the pendulum bob is swinging in air. And yes, gravity weight of the pendulum bob pushes it downwards. But buoyancy, that's Archimedes, you feel lighter when you're in a bath, that force points upwards. And if the air pressure is higher, the air density is higher, then the buoyancy force is higher. So the apparent value of little g, gravity, is less when the air pressure is higher. And the period of the pendulum is root L over g times 2 pi. So if g is smaller, the period is longer. So air pressure going up causes the clock to slow down. So how can we fix that? Well, I've put on the thing called a barometric compensator. And it's in there. It's those funny kind of bellowy, bellowsy type things attached to the pendulum. It's actually easier to see them from the other side. So I'm going to go in the back door of the clock and you'll see the barometric compensator. Now it's attached to the pendulum and the idea is that depending on air pressure those aneroid stacks, there's um, 10 I think, 8 of those little funny silver things, it's a vacuum inside those and when the air pressure is high they squash down and when the air pressure is low they come up. Now, you might have heard of an aneroid barometer. Well, an aneroid barometer has got those things in there as well. Now, sitting on top of those aneroid stacks is a weight. One weight on this side and one on the other. Now, if I give the weight a little touch, see how it wobbles? Well, that's because that weight, about half a kilogram, is sitting on top of that aneroid stack. And depending on air pressure, it will go up and down. Now, in exactly the same way as the temperature compensation changes the length of the pendulum, this has the effect of changing the apparent center of mass of the pendulum. Now, it's a bit curious as to why you'd want to put this barometric compensator at the pivot of the pendulum. The pivot is in there. It's a tiny thin little piece of steel. That's the pivot. Well, you can have a look on the, the theory page or the web page to see how it is that the barometric compensator does its job. And then you can have a look to see if in fact the barometric pressure is doing its job because that's all on the website. So um, I'm happy to explain this further if you wish. Perhaps you can send me a message if you want to know more or even find a time when we can come up the clock and have a good, have a good look. So there we are. That's my video for this week. We're still in um, 
COVID shutdown. Beautiful day out there. Well, it looks like there is a person in the college um, on her own. One of the few students who's actually resident. But look, beautiful day. Sun is shining. And um, looking out west, very bright because the sun is shining through here. And again, beautiful day. Well, look, there we go. I'll sign off now and uh, see you next time.